Hi, I'm Fred for OneProjectCloser.com, and this video will show you the right way to mix self-leveling mortar. Remember, you should always follow the instructions included with the self-leveling mortar you purchased. This video is about mixing the mortar. You'll have to tune back in to learn how to pour, spread, and feather edge the mortar to obtain a perfectly level surface. For this pour, we're using Level Quick ES, an extended setting self-leveling mortar. Most self-leveling applications will require the same basic steps. Our tool of choice for mixing the mortar is a 24 inch long heavy duty mixing paddle with a 4 inch wide blade run by a half inch corded electric drill. First, pre-measure the water for an entire bag of self-leveling mortar and pour this into a 5 gallon bucket. Then, slowly pour the self-leveling mortar into the bucket while the drill is running at medium speed, about 500 RPM is good. Don't reverse these steps. Pouring water on top of a bucket of mortar powder won't be successful. Keep mixing until you achieve a runny pancake batter consistency. If you started with the right amount of water, there should be no need to add any additional water to the mix. You'll need to mix the mortar for about two minutes to get the right consistency. For folks new to self-leveling mortar products, getting the right mix consistency can be intimidating. Don't worry. If you follow the instructions and mix it with the tools we recommend here, you'll do fine. When you're done mixing, pour the self-leveling mortar onto the floor. If you've done the job right, it will quickly spread out and begin to find its own level. That's all for this video. I'm Fred for the One Project Closer team. Visit OneProjectCloser.com for more information on this and many more home improvement topics. Good luck with your projects.